Hi guys, I'm Luis Pereira and welcome back to my channel. Last video, I turned myself into a vampire. This video, it's time to turn myself into yet another childhood fantasy. Oh, by the way, I'm not naked. Okay. There's a reason for the tube top. I'm going to be doing some body paint today. And this might give you a clue as to what I'm going to turn myself into. This is so cute. Yes. I'm gonna turn myself into a mermaid. No, I'm not gonna turn myself into Ariel because that is not what a mermaid would look like. Mermaids would be creepy and spooky. And that is why I have these, my little gills. I've never applied prosthetics before, but we're gonna try today. I have used scar wax and I have used liquid latex in the past, but never a full-blown foam prosthetic. If you can't tell, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain anything else, so let's get straight into this transformation. The first thing we have to do is get rid of our eyebrows, so I'm gonna glue them down. Because mermaids wouldn't have eyebrows. That's my opinion. And I'm just gonna make sure that all of my hairs are coated in some glue. You are gonna need several layers of glue. One isn't gonna cut it. That's the first layer of glue done. I need to wait for this to dry, add a few more layers, and I'll be right back. I'm back, my eyebrows are completely glued down and it's time to put on the prosthetics. The first time I do this, so don't say anything if this goes wrong. Just don't say anything. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put this. So now that I know where it's gonna go, I'm gonna roughly outline the edges so that I know where I need to put the glue. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put some pro adhesive on the areas where the prosthetic is gonna go and on the back of the prosthetic. And once the glue has got a little bit tacky, I'm going to place this on. And I'm just making sure every edge is as flat as it can be. We have gills. Now, to hide the edges a little bit more, I'm gonna go over them with some liquid latex. And make sure you use a disposable sponge for this because this stuff will ruin anything it comes in contact with. And you might need a few layers of this. It absolutely stinks also. Oh! My edges are as good as they're gonna get, so I'm going to go over the liquid latex with some loose setting powder. And I just went over that with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. This feels really stuck to my face now. Now that that's done and we officially have gills, we can get into the body paint. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Muron Makeup Palette. It's bigger than my head. And these are just water activated paints and we have plenty colors to choose from. I am leaning towards the greens and the blues because that's the color I think they'd be. Not much thought put into it. <sighs> so I've wet my brush and I'm gonna dip in. That is way too green but it's fine because we are just putting on a base color and then we're gonna finesse it. I look a bit like the Hulk at the moment, and I hate it. <gasps> I promise we're gonna look good by the end of this. <laughs> so whilst I am trying to perfect my base, I might as well talk a little bit about my mermaid fascination. Because when I was a little kid, I was hell-bent on finding one. <laughs> I blame Animal Planet and the Discovery Channel because they decided to come out with something that looked a lot like a documentary called Mermaid The Body Found. I legit thought it was real because I was a little kid. I can't have been the only person that thought this was real. So don't come at me saying I was stupid to think it was real. And 15 year old me thought I could do anything which apparently included being smarter than the government and finding a mermaid and telling the world. <laughs> so in the documentary, it just follows a bunch of scientists that are called to Africa to go look at this thing that washed up with a bunch of whales. They investigate, it turns out to be a mermaid, obviously, and they find out a bunch of other stuff, like the mermaids are traveling with the whales, they find out the mermaids call, 
which they call The Bloop, which is just a stupid series of pops. And the documentary ends with them going out on a boat after all their research has been confiscated by the government, finding a pot of whales and playing their stupid noise. And they discover the mermaids in the wild and blah, blah, blah. So 15 year old me thought I could do the same thing because I'm from Gibraltar and we have the Straits of Gibraltar and whales go through there so in theory mermaids must go through here <laughs> so my big plan was to rent a boat go out to the Straits find some whales play this noise and attract the mermaids <laughs> I spent months trying to convince my parents to let me do this months they never let me, thank god but yes that was my plan to find a mermaid. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some cream clown white from Meron. The watercolors were not doing it for me. So I need some creams. When it comes to my special effects, they never really go to plan. <laughs> now that I've placed the green and I am okay with the green, I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of blue in a few places. Now it looks like absolute trash at the moment, but it's gonna look okay. Okay, so the base colors are as good as they're gonna get and it's taken me way too long to do this. So I'm going to set this all in place now. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna put this everywhere. I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Carnival palette. First, I think I'm going to dip into Why Though and a bit of Showboat along with the Hype. I'm just taking a mix of those colors. And I'm gonna start placing this over my main green and creating that shade that I want. So now with a Morphe E48 brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Pillow Talk. I'm gonna highlight now I'm just dipping into Showboat. I'm just gonna add this shade to my forehead and blend it into the green. Now I'm gonna dip into the shade Make Waves and really concentrate this on the edges of my face. Also gonna use this shade to give myself a bit of a jawline. And also darkening up the blue of my shoulders. Hopefully we won't have any more patchiness. Okay, it's taken a while, but I'm finally liking the look of this. I've thought about quitting five times already. I want my ears to be a little bit more blue. I personally don't think mermaids would have ears. I also think they'd be bald, but I don't have a bald cap. We've got to deal with my ears today. Okay, I think it's time I give myself a nose and some form of eye shape. I'm dipping into the shade The Hype and I'm just gonna blend that into my brow bone and just pull it out and create a really sunken in look. I don't know what it is, but I'm really struggling today. <laughs> I'm not throwing in the towel. You do not quit in this household. So now I'm gonna dip into the shade Nook and I'm gonna deepen up that even more. Now I'm gonna also place Nuke on my outer corner and blend that out. So now I'm gonna go over the lid and carve that out with the shade Y though. So now I'm gonna dip into the shade Pillow Talk and I'm gonna go over those edges. And this is gonna create a bit of a highlight. And I'm just highlighting the center of my forehead to make all of this look a little bit more flat. With a small detailing brush, I'm gonna dip in to Nook again and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line. So that's the eyes done. I need to add some detailing to the gills because they are really annoying me looking like this. <laughs> so I'm first going over them with the shade Showboat and fading that into the green. Now I'm gonna dip into Make Waves and shade where the gills overlap to create a little bit of a shadow. Now I'm gonna use the shade Mood 
and concentrate this mainly where the gills overlap. I'm also going to shade at the very back of the gills. Oh, I did something there. I did something there. I was really sunned out myself. So seeing that I really like the look of that, I'm gonna do the same to these and I'll be right back. The gills are done. Now I'm going to shade a little bit on my body. So I've dipped into the shade Showboat and I'm just gonna start shading. Now taking the shade Nuke and deepening this up. And I just want this mermaid to really look like she's going through it because she put me through it. One eternity later. So it might look like no time has passed for you, but my SD card ran out of space. I don't have a spare one, so I had to transfer all the files, which took a while. It is past 12. I've been doing this since six o'clock. I might be a little low energy, but we're gonna finish this. I'm going to put on some lips because this situation is really annoying me. For lips, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Equality, and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Drug Lord to get a lighter shade of green. And I'm gonna bring it out into a tiny little point. And on the center, I'm gonna pop the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick in the shade Jeffree Who. Now I'm just going to shade a little bit under the mouth. Okay, lips are done. I want to add a few touches to the blue and I think I'm just going to go in with the shade Mood from the Carnival palette and just add a few dots everywhere. We're almost done. So now I'm going to fill in my waterline with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Weirdo. Next I'm going to go in with some highlighter and I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Highlight Palette. A little bit of highlighter in a few places. So something's missing and I think what's missing is sprinkling some white and maybe grey dots on me. So I'm going to try that. I think I look like an avatar gone wrong. Oh no, I fixed it. I actually really like what that did. So I'm gonna add a few finishing touches and I'll be right back with the final look. what I said before this is what a mermaid should look like let me get this out contacts the hair the teeth really pulled this look together for the first time that I've ever used prosthetics I'm happy with myself <laughs> I really love how it turned out it took a long time but it's done it is currently one in the morning I have to be up early tomorrow and it's gonna take me an hour to take all of this off. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this transformation and watching me struggle through the whole thing. <laughs> Make sure to follow me on my Instagram where you'll see a lot more spooky things than you will over here. And if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.